Oh, does that mean we have to do the share chat again? Yeah. I am going live now for the first time tonight. Nothing went wrong <laughs> <laughs> with my data import at all. Oh no, we don't do detours around here. Nah. I didn't leave Marishka hanging for several minutes to wait for me. It's fine. I got a I got a good nap before this. <laughs> okay. All right, um, Twitch. Yeah. You gotta work with me here. So basically what we're gonna do is we will play it simultaneously and then meet up after every chapter. I don't know why I'm so delayed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. So. Uh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I muted myself and I couldn't unmute. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that. All right, that's not going to work. <laughs> to change that. Okay, well, I'm going to, while we're playing, like doing our things, I'm going to mute and deafen myself. Okay. Just in case, because like, you know how sometimes random people like to join Discord calls and I don't want anyone throwing off my vibe in the middle of the game. Can you go into the, one of the locked ones? If you, We can probably just do that if you. Oh, yeah, we could do that. You should have access to it. Let's see. Oh, general? Like, the one with the yeah. lock on it? Okay, let's try that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just saw the clip from <laughs> Lee. Put the gun down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> okay. Well, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready to import my save and get this started. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, see you soon. All right. All right. Okay. Stream, here we go. The dead started walking. I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Oh, Carly Lee protected and other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. Yeah, Lee saved Carly for sure. You can never save playthrough. everyone. Sorry, Doug. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. Fuck, I don't remember. I think we left her behind. I don't remember. Shit. It's been so long since I played season one. Just say we left her. Lee left her on the side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could. But he got bit because of me and even in the end he was still teaching I want to say I said always keep moving seems like something I would say and always keep moving as much as you can Move. Lee wouldn't make it 
He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake. But like everything else... It wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked. But I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have, and I'll protect him with my life, just like Lee did for me. not looking. Jeez. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Well, let me drive. <laughs> I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. give him a culinary magazine that's no it's all food related all right here practice your reading but i don't wanna it'll take your mind off your stomach preheat oven place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. 
There we go. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Water, too. I wonder how old AJ is now. Looks like he could be about All right. six. Let's find some food. Maybe... I don't know. Stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. So is this going to be more of a move set rather than like quick time events? Or is it still going to be quick time events? Oh, can I push AJ in the swing? Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? Do it! You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. I want to try after we clear this place. Very logical for a small child. All right. So Clem, she appears to have like a hybrid Javi and Lee hairstyle right now because it's like kind of asymmetrical, but she's still got like a little pigtail. used to grow things here is long gone. Mm. 
What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always find, find a, way a way out. out. <laughs> That's right. AJ is always listening. Oh shit. Huh. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Front door is the only way out. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Lem is really channeling her inner Lee. Wait, we don't know that they're a couple? Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. This opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Bash in the face. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but they're they're fucking dead now. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me, the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? They could hurt somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll get the key. They're already dead. I'm sorry. Why not kill them from the back? Come on. And I guess there's like more soft spots in the front, but uh good job. <sighs> Had to go this way. Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? 
We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Not the worst place to sleep. Yeah, compared to some of the other places they've been, honestly doesn't look that bad. We didn't see a kid. No. No, we didn't. Might be why they gave up. You good? Uh-huh. Just hungry. Grumbly in your tumbly? <laughs> no, just regular hungry. AJ might be around eight. I don't know. Just like the way that he talks. That way. Gotta keep searching in here. What? There's nothing in here. Oh wait, hold on. Ew. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. <laughs> Said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. Have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged. Jesus. AJ. Oh yeah, that was loud as hell. Monsters. All right, one sec here. Themselves, the least they could have done was disarm their trap. What? I don't know what it wanted me to do. Press E to break them up. You know what to do. Also, I want to check the display settings.
Okay, that's fine. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. I was gonna shut the door by herself, you know what I mean? Wait, what am I supposed to- oh, okay. Dead. I think I need to turn the volume down. Why isn't there a separate one for voices? I hate when they do that.
Sometimes I don't know where this dirty road is taking me. Sometimes I don't know the reason why. So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rambling. But it's easier than just a wait. Thanks for the DMCA. PJ! <sighs> Wonder if that was in case she turned. What is this place? We have to find another way to get to it. There we go. I like Clem's jacket. Finally, she's wearing leather. This will do. Should have her arms covered though. Palette knife, like for painting. <laughs>
Nothing over here. Don't move. Stay where you are. Don't turn around. Put down the knife. How about you do the same? We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. How about a show of good faith? You lower yours, I'll lower mine. Looks like Kiefer Sutherland in The Lost Boys. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We had to take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? I usually see people our age alone out in the wild. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what. But don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. Good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you and ever. What's that supposed to mean? What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. So he's basically got Rufio. Good walls, good defenses. Good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. 
People leave, they die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. I made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie. And where's your damn weapon? Honestly, all the graffiti makes a lot more sense now. That's totally shit that kids would write. Someone did a real number on this place. do something like that I'm telling you he would and he did and you've got the nerve to say you don't believe me screw you hey, let's see what's over here first I mean I actually these I do nice. believe that AJ bit her. They're fake. Still. Wonder what I'll need plastic flowers for. Mm, nope. Music sounds like it's coming from this floor. Okay, I guess I can't go that way yet. Dude, even though I'm hitting shift, it doesn't seem like she's walking any faster. Clem! You're okay! I was afraid you were... You seem to be doing pretty well yourself. Were you worried? You have no idea, kiddo. But, AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? Answer me, AJ. Did you bite her? I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch the kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. 
Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Louis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, <laughs> that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one, but you're armed. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without topses. Sandals were for Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey! Have you seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Hey, Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's gotta be some explanation. Um, hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. All right. Wait, let me help. I need you to watch my back. <laughs> Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. My brother and I came up with a nickname for his chair. It's Chernobyl. Might be a little bit in bad taste, but it's it's a funny name for a chair. Okay. <laughs> 
trying to show off you are gonna get yourself killed jesus and that's how you school a walker kind of a There's waste a on just traps one right around this area for these ass hats they're all marked so keep a lookout okay whatever i guess Was bad. Okay, these QTs are a little more freeform, I think. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have to? Do I have to use these? Or can I kill them other ways? What? How the fuck were you not in range? God. Honestly, like the back in one piece. Jane technique on, is working the halfway. best. Oh god. Not what I was expecting. Okay. You bitch. Guess I didn't E him in time. Okay. Looks like they made it back in one piece. Come on, meet him halfway. be able to hold them off much longer no kidding where'd all these walkers come from we can talk when we're back inside the gates keep an eye out for stragglers you know you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all <sighs> thanks let's finish these guys off we don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog wines. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. Oh, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, a sim. A sim? safe zone's near and dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. 
talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. I'm not getting in the middle of this. <laughs> and she's modest. Do the wonders never cease? I wish your mouth would cease. We kicked 19 kinds of walker ass. And with style. Why not be proud? Actually choosing silence more often than I expected to. So... I don't know how the dog's not infected, because scratches do it too. I have a very hard time believing that the dog hasn't scratched her mouth on their bones. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's new. <sighs> it's okay. I'll suspend my disbelief. So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. <laughs> nice jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people into the... I wanna expect him to eat at the same table. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlin was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. All right. There's that girl I bit. Yeah, want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes. I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shag, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Mm, yes. Re 
Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat, or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. <laughs> it was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. I wonder what would happen if she told AJ to keep reading. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. Wait, who else is there? Uh... Okay, so we talked to a sim. We talked to Lewis and to Omar. Oh wait, you two. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? Wanna see something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. Okay, I think is that everyone? Oh, hold up, I can go this way. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? Talk to I'm everyone ready. at dinner. Okay. To talk to Marlin. Okay.
Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! 
Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. Never. Not even once? Never. I win. So, Clef, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? I had people. Everyone had people at some point. We had adults here, now we don't. Well, I had people, and now I don't. Fair enough. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Jeez. Okay, Violet. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. Plot armor. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. <sighs> yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Nice one, you Lewis. Me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay? We can talk about it. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like Tim? 
Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures, too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. Uh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Huh. I see you're um, settling in. Ten will be disappointed. Then why didn't Ten yeah, come here to get it? Is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Most of us that are still around, a lot of times we have more bad memories than good. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro-town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit. Have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh. Right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. Uh -huh. For me? <laughs> for the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? AJ? So this is my base. That's pretty cool. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? 
please, Clem? It's not so bad down here. Okay, okay, you can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay, good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah, me too. Completed Act One. Okay. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Here. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They, these were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Okay. Stay back. That's not big. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay, bro. Shh. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down on her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Aw, oh, what a good girl. Aw. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, she bailed. 
all the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. We had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. One more thing. See these red lights? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, but multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Will you dig? Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis... Uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're going hunting, because I don't trust Lewis. At least Violet and Brody both seemed competent. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Did you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. 
Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree? Traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please. I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. dropping frames. I'm going to try closing something. Okay. Ah! Hey! Check this guy out! He's like a walker pinata! Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can stand. So dramatic. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. Jeez, don't whack it at AJ. What the fuck? Are you a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Wait, how do I know which ones are the parents? You weren't lying. You're a damn good shot. Gonna need a few more like this if we're hoping to eat, though. I saw some others run this way. Definitely nailed the thing. Clem! Clem, come here! Rabbit season. It's out. It 
it's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why to get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, uh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? Thanks to Clem, we got more than I expected. Not enough for everyone, but enough to smile about. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? Jeez. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. It's gonna have me do the train station. And then someone's gonna get killed. Then they're gonna be mad at me. Yeah, that's my only choice. Why, why even have me choose? The train station, it's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know, that's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. 
You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. Is it gonna make me chew, like... There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. Is it gonna put me in a position to save Lewis or... It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Either way, they're gonna look. be mad Can't at me. Can't be too careful. barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. I need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. Able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, you. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract him until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Waiting for. Come on, come on. Fucking Lewis. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. someone in there 
or something. I saw movement. Yes, these will be perfect. Plenty, look. Try it out, see if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? I'm you knew about this you. place already. And organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. It wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. to me Merlin listen to me I am telling you the place was ransacked it's fine we'll deal with it it's 
took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have yeah, even more. Yeah, Marlin's but gonna be pissed about that. we ran into the creep that. that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Certainly it, cooked it fast. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, 
I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes mm. I draw this too. Can can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Ute. Hey, here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. How many acts are in every chapter? It's clear. Unless they formatted this one differently. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. You got in bed by yourself. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now. But places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Can I hang the drawing? Yeah, you can now place collectibles. Oh, okay. There. You have to water flowers. Not these, they're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. Correct. All right. Uh... There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. All right. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Wait, did it say me protecting Clem? Oh. All right. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Yeah, kids do that. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Hey, right, we good? Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. Go to sleep. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work. 
and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. You okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. All right, let's see here. <sighs> Not sleeping tonight. No, it's getting quiet again. Just a little farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. another entrance to the basement around here. Oh, hey, Pop. No, wrong way. I get why she's a Afraid. But I wish you didn't have to be. further along. I 
a bad feeling about this. What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! What? Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what shut up! What'd you say? She I'm sorry. Are you fucking for Shit. real, dude? What have you done? So, 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 so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Hell! Jesus. I told you not to say it! Get away from her. Come on, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Had a feeling that's where that was going. Brody. <laughs> He's gonna blame Clem for it. She's huh? gonna turn. Marlin! Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't let you talk to the others. Damn it! Marlin! Anyone! AJ! Huh. There's a gap. If I could find something really thin. Force it in there and lift up the latch. <sighs> Find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. 
Did you really hear people yelling and not take your weapons with you, Clem? Come on. We taught you better. And Kenny. And everyone else. Is that a... Yes, this will work. Oh, that's cool. Flashlights red with blood. Where's AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? she she's in the basement. She murdered Brody. I knew he'd pull that shit. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. 
I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. Lewis, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh... On your own. I had a feeling, sorry. then. You let him shoot me. Really? Just so you don't have to get involved. I thought you were more than that. Yeah. Shit. Hilton. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. Brody trusted him. And now she's dead. And he killed her! Take that back! Doing, man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. <clears throat> you don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? Cortez. I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them states some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was just too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting a quick time event. Okay. Uh, let's do this again. <laughs> what? No! did not find the key in time. Yeah, kick him. Get him, Clem. Alright. No, don't throw it! I'm done. Give it to AJ. I'm done. I'm done. Getting thrown into the basement until we can figure out what to do with you. Fine. I'll be fine. You win. I can't. Whoa! Was that AJ?
<laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What? Unable to connect? Are you fucking kidding me? But that's like the best part. The game is having a problem communicating with the Telltale server. What? Are you fucking serious? Okay, I'm gonna see how Marushka is doing. Sometimes I don't know where this dirty road is taking me. Sometimes I don't know the reason why. So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rambling. Okay, Marishka's done too, so I'm gonna. Hi, Marishka. Oh, I, I was watching that last bit of you playing, and it's not letting you see the choices. I no. know. It's pissing me off. What, what oh is, my god. What oh does god. your show? Mine shows the percentages. Well, like, can you read them to me? Yeah, okay, so the first one is the couple, the, 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 the zombie couple at the train station. Okay. What did you do with them? I killed them and took the key. Yeah, me too. Okay. So us and 56% of, of people killed the couple. 44% let AJ go through the window. No, I wasn't going to send AJ through an unknown window. And that's exactly what I said. <laughs> like, Remember what happened there? to with like Clem and the water and <laughs> yeah yeah okay so the second one is me and 50% of 53% of players went fishing with Violet and Brody okay I went hunting okay so you went with Lewis then yeah I didn't trust Lewis to take anything seriously <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I, that's why I said, you know what? I don't care about them. They can die if it happens. <laughs> so you and forty-seven percent of players went hunting with Lewis. Okay. So 20, 29 percent of me and twenty-nine percent of people let AJ sleep under the bed. And a friend. I let him sleep under the bed too. He felt safe there. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, I mean, if he's comfortable. Yeah. So 71% of players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. Really? I don't know. You never had like a a blanket fort when you were a kid or you know like kids yeah. like little hiding places like that. He was he was this wasn't there. hurting anything. He just just let him sleep there. She gave him yeah. a pillow. I just wish she would have gave him the blanket. That's yeah. All. Oh yeah, me too. And like maybe made it a little more cushiony down there. Yeah. Um. 29%. Wow. Okay, they really do not care about AJ. Okay, what happened with Abel? With you? I attacked him. What you did pushed you... him out the window? Yes. That's what I did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so me and, me, you, and 78% of players attacked him rather than giving him food and 22% surrendered to food. I wonder what would happen if you gave him the food. I think he would have... So, you can also tell AJ to shoot him. Does he fly out the window then, too? I'm guessing. Probably. Or he just shoots him in the head. And, yeah. yeah, maybe. Okay, so the next one. Uh, I chose Violet against Marlon. And that's yeah. all you chose, Lewis. Yeah, I just wanted to see what would happen, and I kind of thought you would choose Violet. So I like Violet, so yeah. Yeah. And I knew you would hate Lewis. Yes. <laughs> Violet reminds me of me. Like, I used to be like her. Yeah. So. Dude, okay, so Marlon looks like Keith or Sutherland in The Lost Boys. He does! <laughs> I was trying to think who he looks like. That's exactly it. <laughs> like, like the instant he showed it. up, I was like, oh my god. 
It's like, who had this haircut? I can't think. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. But 61% of people chose Violet over Lewis. Okay. I mean, I kind of expected more people to choose Violet. Interesting. Wow. I'm honestly, like, I was surprised that Lewis actually took a stand. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, what? I was, like, I know he's, like... He's kind of a bitch baby, but... Yeah. Okay, well, so, I guess... I guess I'll see what my other things were. Go ahead. Yeah, go go forward and see if it tells you the status of the friendship, because that's what's after the well, percentages. Okay, well, it says, Brody, dead. She was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. Um, it says... You left AJ hardened. AJ was resolved to sleep under the bed. After the first night at the school, he was satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. Hmm. Uh, it says you left Violet horrified. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she felt sorry that you had to deal with Lewis's flirtations. Agreed. Violet yeah. was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. And then... Marlon? Dead. Marlon was enraged when you fought him in the courtyard. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. Oh, what are we going to do with the puppy now? Oh, the doggo! We can we can take her. <laughs> you left ten feeling bitter. Ten was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. You left Lewis feeling lost. He felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with a sim. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Oh, so you didn't tell him that it was Lee. You just said you lost someone when no, it, when I, he asked. I I did say Lee specifically. Oh, okay. So it probably would have been the same. I didn't tell them specifically Lee. I just said yeah. loved one or something, whatever it was. Yeah. Let's see. Omar was glad you checked in on him before dinner. Ruby approved of you teaching AJ manners at dinner. Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills to you. Asim appreciated nope. that you helped him hunt the rabbits. Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlin's help. She's not going to be happy, though. I collected three of six items during the episode. Wait, three? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let me read the the character one, so... Me and 61% of people left Lewis feeling heartbroken. He felt the shame for asking if you ever had to kill someone you loved. Well, you're fine. Okay, I got bitter with 10 as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Marlon is dead. Uh, AJ is hardened. Okay. And Brody is dead. Violet is guilty. She's feeling guilty. Was pleased after you complimented her fighting skills. Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Uh, Omar is glad you checked on him. Ruby was disgusted when you encouraged AJ's bad manners. Oh, because we burped. <laughs> we all burped. <laughs> no, I, I told him to slow down so he didn't choke. <laughs> yeah, if you tell if you burp too, then AJ will burp, and then um, what's his name? Uh, Marlon, he'll go, hey, stop. And then Ruby will be like, thank you. And then he burps too. And then they all laugh. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Was, was... That, that's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, that's Mitch. Okay. Mitch is the guy that was making the spears. Yeah. Okay. And then Sam was glad you stopped AJ from reading his journal. Well, yeah, I mean, this is his diary. Yeah, I stopped AJ from reading too, but I am very curious as to what would have happened if. He continued. He would have read something either <clears throat> gross or 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just something embarrassing. Yeah. Dude, I, I only got two items. Why am I not getting my percentages? That's so upsetting. Oh, the only thing I got was the two drawings. I didn't even know there were flowers. Yeah, the flowers were behind the stairs. I didn't find the other stuff, though. Well, that's what I get for not exploring as much as I want. It seems like you can explore, but then again, it's like, no. So now that I know you can... Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> Yeah. So did AJ shoot Marlin for you as well? Yeah, I chose to attack him. And she I when she tossed the gun, I was like, okay, good, this is resolved. And then, oh god, AJ. He doesn't know, he doesn't understand. Yeah, I told Clem not to throw the gun, but I did actually say that she should give it to AJ to hold on to, so <laughs> I guess he found it anyway. Uh, so what were you gonna do with him were you gonna like send him away or put him in the basement or in the basement that's what i tried man so i wonder i wonder if you can actually keep him alive there i, I don't know so. did it say how like because you have percentages did it say like what percentage left him alive how do i find that extras yeah, relationships and choices. Yeah, I can go back to it. See, that's what I was saying. I don't know if yours has that, but if you go back to the menu, is an option that says, oh. in extras, it says relationships and choices, and you can go back to your percentages. Okay, so if you hit continue, it just takes you to the menu? Uh, yeah. Okay. It takes you back to the title thing, so you can start episode two, but you don't have to right away. It doesn't yeah. say, does it? It just says dead, so, I mean, since it's telling you that, I'm assuming- Yeah, it doesn't have a percentage. It just says dead. I'm guessing that he's, like, is he all- Probably? Maybe not if you take the- If you don't take the gun from him. I don't know. That, and maybe if you convinced Brody not to overreact somehow when you told him that you ran into someone. The, yeah, I don't or know. Or found the cigarette, the cigarette butt you found. Maybe you yeah. can not to overreact with that. I mean, I tried to help her calm down because it seemed like she was having a panic attack, but then she, like, snapped at me, so. Yeah. It seemed like it did the opposite of help. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Like, if there's anything I'm familiar with, it's panic attacks. Just let me have yeah. this, you dumb game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a mess. <laughs> yeah. It was nice at first, though. I, like, I enjoy kind of, like, ragtag orphan stories where, like, mm -hmm. you know, there are either no adults around or they can't be trusted or they're all villains and, like, you know, the kids have to be resourceful and yeah. I'm into stuff like that. But then it took a turn. <laughs> yeah, I was like this whole time I was like, huh, I wonder when this is gonna go dark. <laughs> yeah. I mean obviously it is. Yeah. I Yeah. That that whole thing like that was fucked up with uh with him killing Brody. Like, Ugh. we really can't trust you after that, you know? Yeah, you can't have a gun anymore, AJ. I'm sorry. You're too good of a shot. If he would have missed and hit his shoulder, then maybe. But you shot him in the head, buddy. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> well. At least, you know. We don't have to worry about Marlin flying into a rage and accidentally killing someone else you know for a second i was like he's i was like please first of all don't shoot clem again she's <laughs> she's gotten shot way too many times okay and then i thought i don't yeah. know why i thought like in my mind i was like he's gonna mess up and probably shoot the dog 
I was like, I'm not going to say it because I don't oh, want to no. see that. No, I don't want to see that either. But the fact that there is a dog just really doesn't bode well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but Rosie's so cute, though. It never does. I know. He's so chunky. Oh, God. What a, what a, yeah. What a <laughs> so I'm guessing that you don't know this because you haven't read the comics or anything, but like even Scratches turn you so i don't know how rosie like rips them apart with her teeth and has never been scratched by one of their bones or anything like that well like she's getting it like all in her mouth to be fair though we haven't seen any zombie animals right so i wonder if it's just a human oh thing. maybe because I was thinking that Could before, be. I was like, we've seen a lot of animals, and none of them were zombified, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just assuming uh, that it was just human-only virus. I yeah, she she, could, to... she destroyed that zombie. I was like, she's just cleaning up that blood all in her mouth. I was like, is she gonna turn? <laughs> I hope not. But, yeah, we've seen animals before, and they weren't. He is just a baby. He doesn't understand. I'm not mad at him, but I just wish he wouldn't have shot him. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh. Yeah, I guess I'll have to see what happens if you don't take the gun from him. Because did I'm guessing that you took the gun from him as well. Like, you took um, the opportunity to get the gun away. No. Marlon took no? the gun from AJ. Uh... Wait, huh? At the very end? Because he was pointing the gun at him. Because yeah. Clem came out no, and I mean, like, he took it. Did Clem try to take the gun from Marlin? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm wondering, what if you don't go for the gun? He, he'll probably shoot someone. Probably whoever you choose to, uh, to convince. Oh... Oh, you know what? Could. He could. I guess we'll have to look it up after. Yeah. Well, you want to do one more? Yeah. We could do... I guess there are four, so we could do two tonight and then two another night. Yeah. Yeah. I could break this up. This. I was go Actually, I was going to ask you that if you wanted to wait and do the other two some other time. Because yeah. I've been just rolling this out. I could take a break. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um... So I'm guessing, like, we're playing something tomorrow, probably, and then, so I might be doing something Sunday, but I might not be, so. Oh, just, just let me know. Um, yeah. Do you want to do a BRB really quick, and then we start the next episode? Yeah, I'm, I'm good whenever. All right, I'll. I'm not. I won't take long. I'm just gonna grab some water. Yeah, for sure. All right, okay. BRB chat. BRB.
<clears throat> okay. Mm. What happened to my game? <laughs> oh. Oops. I'm back. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. Another thing that I wanted to say. Uh, did you see Kenny's hat when she was like going through her pack? Uh, yes, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> I got like I got maybe a little too excited about that. I was like, oh my god, it's Kenny's hat. But I wish that like you could have AJ wear it because he's big enough. They're probably going to wait to the end where it's like, yeah, now after all that you went through, now you're able to wear his hat. Yeah, they probably just didn't want to render the hat. <laughs> like, they would have to have, like, AJ with a hat and AJ without a hat. But yeah, it wouldn't be that much work, right? Because... I guess she's going to, like, cut his hair or something and then... Yeah. Maybe. Eh, it would be nice, but I guess we shall see. Oh, don't start that controller. <laughs> okay. Stupid controller's not connecting. All I did was let you charge. Oh yeah, I need to bring up chat again. I was having, I was like dropping some frames, so I closed yeah, I out. That. I closed out the <laughs> streams. I also dropped one of the settings, so I hope that helps. That last scene uh, was pretty choppy looking. Yeah, there there's no reason it should be. <laughs> like my I mean, I guess it is running it like why can't I cheat my eh. There should be like more the settings kinda suck. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> there's no I'm glad there's no P filter, but there's also like Nothing else, really. Yeah. I hope mine was okay. I didn't. I didn't bother to watch. I forgot. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. If it keeps doing that, I'll just lower something else.
and it looks a little a little bit but it's not that bad well, Dr. Ao PC is doing its best okay yeah oh, see bad. the thing is I have like a really good PC now so I shouldn't be having issues no matter what my settings are but yeah, it's true. It still did. Why can't I yeah, pop cause... chat out? Well, this one did say they had some... Um... Oh, there we go. Oh, like like... They worked on the, the graphics and stuff, so maybe it just runs better than the original one? Yeah, maybe they didn't optimize it very well. I don't know. Because I have played some older games that are just very poorly optimized. Okay, well. Things look as good as they'll get, I think. Alright. Alright, we ready to go? Yep. Alright, I'll see you soon. Alright. Alright, bye. Let's go chat. Later. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh. Hello? Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. Oh my god. I, up, <laughs> I thought that was me. Saved by a guy named Marlin. Fucking the leader of a community flashing light inside warning. an old boarding school. Felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. I attacked Marlin and made him drop the gun. I was going to lock him in the basement. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. 
And you're putting it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. Shit. But the kid blew his brains out. Medicine. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Marlon, he he was down. You had him beat. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Oh, Sometimes what? People do bad things, like Marlon did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? I didn't want to call him a murderer. Jeez. Oh, no. Control! I talked Marlon down, then he murdered my fucking friend! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull! It was over! Get him, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. How the fuck are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey, Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? 
We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules. About who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Oh, God. Sure. What After have I dinner. said? They buried them already. Vile started soon. See you out there. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. That that's some stale ass coffee. At least these won't die. I didn't... Didn't want to call AJ a murderer. Time to go. Soon. I wonder, like, okay, so is it whether or not you attack Abel that determines whether or not AJ kills Marlin? They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. Dude, I'm not happy with the way that conversation went. I feel like I just gave that kid a whole bunch of mixed signals. Ready? But it is what it is. him to regret his actions. I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing necessarily, but still. Oops. Checking to see if things look okay. I don't know. It seems alright, I guess. I don't know. I'm like afraid I'll drop more frames. I did that. Come on. Oh. 
or a pup? Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. She was real sweet. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Everyone's so sad. I don't like funerals. Ted, you ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. I don't appreciate your tone, Mitch. Yeah? Well, I don't appreciate your kid murdering my friend. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Soapy disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Poor pup. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. should have made a game with AJ as the main character. Maybe they will when they, I don't know, I guess Telltale is not in the greatest of shape. But that would be cool. Lots of moves and lots 
They did make the new Tales from the Borderlands, and Tales from the Borderlands was actually my favorite Telltale game, but I heard that the new one is not very good, unfortunately. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Louis and Violet. took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. 
Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them. It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Hey, you don't talk about him like that. <sighs> Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Eh? Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. Why? I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the Dude. murder weapon. So I chose a dialogue choice earlier that wasn't very clear and basically now AJ just keeps calling himself a murderer. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I like fucked up so bad. Clementine looks shorter in last season. Yeah, I think so. I'm guessing that she's probably like she's at least 17 but she could be around 19 or so just judging by AJ's possible age I don't know how old AJ is in this actually but I'm guessing he's anywhere like, I don't know like six to eight I just wanted to tell him not to shoot people when they're defenseless. And, that, and now he's all like, I'm a murderer. I'm a murderer. And I don't think I can fix it at this point. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Yeah, and it almost killed us. You saw how fucked up we were after that car crash. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Really, I wish I could take you back, but I... I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. If you came back, someone else might get hurt. I... I can't risk it, I'm sorry. Still got that gun? Just... try to be more careful with it, okay? I will.
let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. <laughs> you haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah, so do I. Hide! Ooh. A couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. Wait. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay Wait. here. Oh, God. They always get me with the shift E. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. You. Don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. I'm not helping you, shitheads! Don't! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? I said, not now. Yeah, let... Go. He isn't with you. You dick. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. 
He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot! Oh. Damn. Come on. I wonder if I should have told them to run instead. Oh no, AJ, what? No, 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 no. Oh god. Looks like he took some of that. I knew it. Shit. To you assholes. Where are you at? <laughs> the Jane method. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. God damn, I'm an idiot.
not wasting any time this time. Get over here. That is fucking horrific. <laughs> oh my god. Get the shrapnel out. Who? Me? I'll keep him still. Oh, it's gonna make me do it, isn't it? to be loud it's okay AJ just breathe put your hands there stop the bleeding it's okay AJ he's just gonna pat you up it's enough for now oh, oh. easy easy where's our stuff my gun we lost it buddy Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved us. Yeah, they did. Shit. Yep. Lewis is gonna be even happier with me. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Called themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Okay, but who are you? Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both 
both of you. Thank you. Yeah, let's eat blood. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. It's difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. Wait, what? So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. Where are they, anyway? It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns. More fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. Or you would hope. they? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. 
That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm, I can't. Then we'll both keep watch. Less lonely. True. You gonna fall asleep anyway? I really hate that thing. Ugh. Is he awake? Yeah. He's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No. I've got him. Oh, I'm I'm walking now. Okay. <laughs> I have this bad habit of taking my hands off the keyboard. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna try turning... I think I'm dropping frames again. So... I'm going to try... Burning something down. Oh god. It froze. No, no. Wait, it's just low or high? What about textures? Okay, we'll see. Hurry right, on. We're almost there. They came back. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. Keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he? Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Like damn, Lewis is a weakling. <laughs> but then, okay, I, buddy, I got you. I remembered his arm. I don't think performance has gotten any better, really. Shit. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. Okay. Turning that back. We'll try render quality. I don't know. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story.
He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we push, we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Okay, I think I think the render is helping. You need to talk. out in the woods I saw they had you pinned and I Shit, I got so crazy when I heard you call for help I didn't even think I just let go of the arrow I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her and then Louis got shot six six inches over would be digging another grave I really thought you were dead Clem It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. Sorry to disappoint. You'll have to put up with us for a while longer. No disappointment here. I'm glad you came back. Huh. Well, what about Mitch and the others? Oh, uh, well, they're less excited about it. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you. Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean... She's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than <laughs> enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. I'm not trying to be weird. I just don't want everyone in the world to know where we are. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused, and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? That's what I was gonna He's watched say. watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. And he didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. 
It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Oh god, okay. Do I only get certain... things? We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Divide the courtyard? I don't even know what that means. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Do you? The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Oh. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. Huh. Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's going to be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy is asleep. Yeah, shut it, Mitch. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's going to be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Oh, uh, no, no. I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go, too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Hey, don't touch her. Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? Or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. What's up, Ruby? Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. 
Let's just find a way in. Alright. Ruby and I definitely got off on the wrong foot. She seems nice. If I have to choose between saving her or Mitch, uh, this is gonna be the easiest choice I've ever made in my life. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. I Let's bet. survive first. Hmm, okay. I mean, if there is a way to save everyone, that would be. <sighs> Can't see shit. What I would go for. There's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. All right. I like you, Ruby. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Boost me Mitch, up. Come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. You first, Mitch. No. See, because the people back home want me to survive this little trip. Let's just get the stuff we need, okay? Just go. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you get the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. You're telling me she didn't bring a weapon. What? Jane technique. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. All right. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Raul. Okay, one sec. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kind of like to see that. Ugh. Anyway... Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. 
You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. What? She remembering a vicious lawnmower attack? Weird reaction. All right, there was a crowbar around here somewhere. Yes, dibs. Just shove that in his ass. Where did it go? Like I know video game logic and all that. Still. Oh. Alright, Clem did the same. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm assuming the barbed wire is in that cabinet. So, oh, pick a mushroom. Some mushrooms are edible. Eat the mushroom? Whoa, hold on. What happens if I eat the mushroom? Uh. What? This was for science. Okay. <laughs> well, I got an achievement for that. Um, what else? Okay, I think that's everything. Okay. Um, cabinet. There it is. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? <laughs> totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. You he would. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Wait, am I meant to find that? I thought we were done here. Oh. Oh, hello. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks...
can barely recognize her. She's just... just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I... I just... wish I could make her look like she used to. One day, we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. When I'm looking around, the mouse hardly Are works. You okay? When I'm aiming, yeah. it's like all over. <laughs> Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Ow. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it. Not in a million years. Wimp. No. That was good, Clem. Uh, Mitch? Is this useful? Fucking A! I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. All right, so that's the propane. Gonna see what else is here first. Wait, what? Oh, that's for my room, I think. All right, I'll take that. You okay, Ruby? Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. What about you, asshole? You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. All right, good talk. Uh, anything else? Does not appear so. You guys are kind of, uh, Blind, huh? It's right here. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. 
She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. All right, Mitch, go make your bombs. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. Bet Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. But it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. you these I noticed his shirt got messed up when you know where did you get those they were tens back when he got here should be about AJ's size how's he doing better his fever's down thank you for carrying him in no problem so we've got a greenhouse again and bombs Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? Mm. I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Medicine. Oops. Ooh. Uh. You're still mad. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. You didn't sleep last night. <sighs> nope. Okay. Oh. All right. Place the sh oh I hell yeah. How long it'll last? The shroom and where's the? That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus. Doesn't look fun. Where's, where can I put my, there, right, there it goes. I can't talk right now. <laughs> Hell yeah.
That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Sports jersey and disco broccoli. Science dog. Aw, that sounds cute. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same character. Cool. Hey, this one's pretty cool. It looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Hey! Look, it's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. All right. We're going to go with Science Dog. Hmm. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with a light. I'll blow it out in a second. Okay, I think everything, I think everything's good. Let's go to sleep. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries, <sighs> bang. It's cute. They have a little uh, good night ritual. Lapse. Wait, how long? Two weeks. Shit. That's a realistic amount of time to prepare all the shit that they're talking about. It's a dream, right? Yeah. <laughs> Take a jaunty little power walk toward the crying.
You were having a nightmare. The same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Oh, the ranch where they were keeping AJ. Hey, what do you have there? In the new frontier. Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days. If I tried hard. I've never seen that knife before. Did you make it? When? I don't know. While you were busy. It must have taken days. I couldn't stop thinking about it until I made it. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work to atone me. I'm gonna help you more so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol. For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. You ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. You need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it.
pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. <laughs> Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. All right, nothing here, I don't think. But I'm gonna check anyway in case there's a decoration. Nope. Okay. Rotation time. going on in a few weeks or days or hours the raiders will be here burn down our place and steal or kill us and then it won't matter how much i sucked at this the raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody we'll stop it you sound like marlin i mean Ugh. not about fighting but when he was trying to cheer us all up for years i sat around making stupid jokes playing stupid games while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Oh. Uh, okay. Violet went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. Okay. Ah, move. Okay. Uh, that's enough of that. Lip table. Hell yeah, Clem. I bet that felt good. Well, no one's coming over those. It'll work. It has to.
Wait, who was up there? Oh, there they are. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Uh, what? Why can't I walk that weird? Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Yeah, I would Stupid too. Shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Oh shit. Uh... Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. He's being slightly less of a dick now. Slightly. Should have been two to one parts. Maybe well, with the double, it didn't. Uh, Mitch? Dirt would catch if the propane was soaked. In... Oh, no, no, stupid. Right. What else is going on here? Catch up with you in a second, Violet. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. It's a cute little grave. Aw, pup. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? <laughs> Aww. I love her. Aww. <laughs> Bit on Marlin's grave. Jeez. Okay. I'm not gonna go that far. I don't think. He was a piece of shit. But. He also meant something to these people. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. I think that's everything. What's up, Vi? Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem. They stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because um, you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, uh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? 
Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! I'm trying to help! So help! And stop arguing! Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. Oh. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, they're Hell, gonna come when no one's a game in weeks since keeping I watch. Won. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. Ew. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Oh, Bye. God. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Ruby. Watch out, a sim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. I would, um, flip. Flip, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Oh my god, AJ. <laughs> A sim. Oh, wow. That, wow. Now that's awkward. I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. You guys Dude, made me answer that. <laughs> so that means you're killing. This is amazing. Boy from the woods. I'll try to shed a tear for the poor boy none of us met. Who's probably just a figment of Clem's imagination. No, he's not. I met him. Well, now he's dead. Poor dude. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I just, I, I didn't want to... And poor Sim loses. Tell Definitely anyone Adair. here. Uh, okay. Do your worst. I didn't want to tell anyone here that I would kill them. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. We all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? <laughs> Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. 
It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam. That's how a game dies. Sam, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages, so it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? I, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. He's not wrong. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I wanna try, but I need a second person. That's uh, gonna make me choose. All right, let's see. Well, I think Marishka is probably gonna follow Violet, so I'll follow Lewis again. Eh. Leave or die. For the record, though, I do like Violet more. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. It's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I'm keeping it together. It isn't easy, but the alternative is giving up, and I'm not doing that. Oh man, my whole give up plan is shot to hell. If you're not gonna, I definitely can't. So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I give the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? I know which one you is know, the A key. The A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Ha 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 ha.
Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. He's fucking with me. <sighs> okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> You're the worst ever. Okay, it was a little funny. Not even a little? Damn. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. We should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. All done. That is a fine pair of letters, if I do say so myself. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Ha. Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. Are you feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here, listening, blowing on the strings, coming here to help me with my project even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. Friends are all we've got, and I'm glad we've got each other. Okay. Time for a second commemoration. Fist bump? Fist bump. <laughs> Figured out what to call the song. Yeah? What? Super Fun Times Friends Song. Wow, that's really dumb. And if any time you want me to stop joking around, just know that I never will. <laughs> Friends to the end. You're the best, Clemster. He is laying the... He's got a good ring to it. Clemster. Friendliness Style. and... Grace. Really Dignity. thick. No problem, Beluga. Your <laughs> name's Louis? Lou. Beluga. Like the whale. Clem, for everyone's safety, leave the jokes to those of us with inborn skill. Clem, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Got an achievement. Like too much fun. Called platonic. And the symbol was a high five. <laughs> Hilarious. The Raiders. That guy. He's going to be with them. Abel, yeah. Your bad dreams, they're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's <laughs> a little much, don't you think? Well, I do. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's 10 monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. 
I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna kill him like he deserves. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. James. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know... I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. <laughs> Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, look out! Oh, oh, shit. Fuck. Yes. Oh, no. oh, fuck! Oh, God. Shit. Hide! Now! Omar! I've got him! AJ, hide! That's what happens when you try to make a speech. Come on! I know you're in there. Seven times! Fuck you, Lee! No! Open up, kid! My bow! Go! Go. I'll be all right. <laughs> I don't have much time. Go! You're not gonna be all right, Omar. to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. chance. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Lily! Ah! Clem! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's our new recruits? All right. They're not yours! The game got me. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, Shoot her.
We'll find them, Clementine. And then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're one to talk. Don't. Don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than- Ever! Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Yeah, we know. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. And now... Where are they? Let me take you to them. No, no stranger I danger. Can't. I just want them back. Please. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. That sniper needs to go. Can I get the sniper? Fuck. Bitch, don't be stupid. Oh. God damn it. Jesus. Kill who you have to. Take the rest. Now, go back. Follow them. <sighs> Jesus. I wonder Kill what happens if you girl. use the log. I was tempted to do it because it sounded hilarious. Fuck. This fucking E gets me every time.
AJ, no. <laughs> Fuck so you. we'll have a nice little chat. You and me. You are Hello. dead as shit. Ah, fucking bitch! Um, I can't. Stay back! Ah. Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid. And still alive? Well, let a lot of folks die to get you here. Damn. My God. Dibs. That kid is fucked up. God. Shit. This should be easy. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting. Best girl. Oh my god. Alright. We'll come for you by it.
best girl. Kalam, I, I'm sorry for trusting her. God, Asim, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet, I never thought someone would get her. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. James. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I was hoping he was dead. Still? Little fucker. Okay, whatever. Hi, Marishka. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Okay, first things first. Rosie, what a good girl. I know, let's go. I was so hyped. I was like, yes, <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> I can't see the percentages again. I don't know why it's doing this to me. Okay. So this one, it says me and 64% of players told AJ to keep his gun. Yeah, I did too. Okay. So 32% of players gave AJ's gun to Lewis. I don't know why. Yeah. 1% uh, of players didn't intervene when AJ insisted on keeping his gun, and 2% of players said nothing when AJ insisted on giving Lewis his gun. Okay. So next, me and 50% of players told Lewis and Violet to run from Lily and Abel. Wow, it's literally 50-50. Oh, wow. I told them to shoot her. So do they shoot her, or do they miss or something? Um, they shoot her in the shoulder. I think we okay, gotta follow. Yeah, so I told him to Okay, run. let's follow your raging clue. And then, uh, what happened to AJ when you told him to run? Takahashi, thank you for the follow. Um, so when I told AJ, or sorry, when I told them to shoot her, AJ ended up with buckshot in his stomach. Okay, so either way, he gets shot. Yeah. Because I chose, I told him to run, and he still gets shot. Okay. Lewis got shot when I told them to shoot Lily. Like, he got shot in the arm. Oh, so Lewis didn't get hurt at all with me. Okay. Uh, okay. When I, cho I told him to run, they, Lewis didn't get hurt. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So next, uh, me and 93% of players spared the walker honoring James's request. The oh, one, yeah, the I did that guy. too. There's well, something, he's not creepy. There's something weird about James. He's like trying... I think he sees the zombies as people. Yeah, I think he has like a... Dang, what's it called? Like, I don't see him as a bad person. He's just a little different. He doesn't see them as bad. They're just yeah. not themselves anymore. And it's like I, I mean, I don't, I don't find James weird at all. He's smart, actually. Yeah. But him controlling the walkers—that's weird. Mean, <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely a little weirdo. I, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think he's bad. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't want to put AJ in any more danger by killing the zombie either. Yeah. Because he was already shot, so that I would, would distract either way. Yeah, I I distracted it too. Okay, so Oh, so there's an option to let James throw the rock too. I guess if you don't choose, he'll throw it himself. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And six percent of players killed the walker after James asked you not to. Okay. 
So, okay, so here's the cool part. If you choose to go with Violet, you actually get to draw your own constellations. Oh, hell yeah. That's that cool. scene was so cool. They made they, they it made me draw them and then they kind of named them themselves. That was so cute. Oh my god, I love that part. That was 57%. People that is that. really cool. I figured you would pick that, so I went the other way and uh yeah, we just like played piano and oh. <laughs> carved our initials into the piano and yeah. The constellations sound cooler. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 really cool. I love that part. So, being 53% of players rescued Violet instead of Lewis, of course. Yeah. I mean, I did I did the opposite again, just, you know. So, so we can whoever... so we can see. Yeah, so basically whoever you choose to save the other person gets kidnapped. Hi, Drifter. Um, yeah, that's what it seems. Also, did you like have a like a romance option or like a friend zone option? Yeah, I chose they had either to kiss her, tell her we're friends, or they're gonna wait to see how it works out. And I chose the workout part to see how yeah. it the kind of down the middle option. Yeah, I would do the same. Um, however, I only had two choices. One of them was like, I like you. And then the other one was like, we're friends. So I, I picked friends. And yeah. <laughs> I, got a, I got an achievement for that called platonic. And the image was like a high five. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's see. With me and 59% of players left 10 feeling despondent. 10 was reassured when you said it was sweet of him to make drawings. 10 felt helpful, hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker age would end someday. He has a very... Yeah. Uh, Let me see. I really like the way 10 thinks. He's a sweet kid. Where... I don't have 10. Oh, there's 10. Yeah, I have despondent as well. 10 was thoughtful when you said people need to make new rules. He felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker age will end someday. Eh. Mm, okay. Um, so. so Violet is kidnapped. She was annoyed <laughs> when you greeted her sarcastically after returning to the school. Disappointed that you chose to spend time with Lewis instead of her abandoned when you let the Raiders kidnap her. I figured. For the record, I do like Violet more than I like Lewis. But I yeah. just I just wanna see. <laughs> yeah. So did did Lily kill Mitch for you too? Um yes. She okay. stabbed him in the neck and then in Jesus, the face. That was so fast. Yeah. And then like uh, anyway. Yeah, I was like, don't do anything stupid, Mitch. And he did something stupid. I, I called him Mitch the bitch because of the way he was acting at the greenhouse. <laughs> he got on my nerve. <laughs> <laughs> See, I almost called him that, but um, yeah. Let's see. Left AJ Ruby. feeling repentant. AJ Repent. was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He oh, was satisfied after he got dibs on killing Abel. <laughs> oh, I got him justified. Interesting. What What were your little notes? It says AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He was satisfied after he got dibs on killing Abel, but he didn't. <laughs> oh, I, I, huh. I held back to yeah. see if he was actually going to stab him, and he didn't. Oh my that god, so I accidentally picked some dialogue that I wasn't sure like you know how it does that where you pick a dialogue and it says something that you don't mean to say yes um, so, that was me the entire third season <laughs> so I fucked up and AJ kept calling himself a murderer for like the first half of the episode I'm like no <laughs> oh because you what did I do what Lewis called him 
that's it's probably like, why when I, I just to I told AJ he was justified in killing Marlon. That's probably why yeah. mine changed. Yeah, I just wanted to tell him like, you know, he doesn't have to kill defenseless people, and it backfired because now he just thinks he's a murderer. <laughs> yeah. So with Ruby, I got ninety percent of players left Ruby feeling grateful. Um, let me see. What? Why are mine in different orders? Mine says Lily next. Hold on, I'm gonna find Ruby. Because I helped uh, her um bury the nurse that they found in the greenhouse. Oh, there's Ruby. Yeah, left her feeling grateful. Ruby was distressed when you said everyone shared responsibility for what happened to Marlin. Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy over finding the school nurse. Yeah, mine says Ruby was shocked when you said AJ was right to kill Marlin. That's uh, okay. my difference. Um, yeah, I helped her bury the nurse, too. Yeah. So, Lewis is kidnapped. 85% uh... <laughs> of players allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. I love that. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay, um, mine says for Lily, Lily was gratified that you remembered her. Oh yeah, I did actually let her help me up. I regret that, though. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I did, because yeah, I says... wanted to see what was going to happen, whether Lily she was going to turn on me or not, and she, she did. So. Pleased when you accepted her help to stand up. I kind of wanted to confuse the shit out of Abel, though. <laughs> so I guess I succeeded at that. Um, I have James next. Yeah, I got me and 30% of players left James feeling trusted. Okay, mine says you left James feeling appreciative. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. We have the same thing, but we got a different... Yours says trusted, mine... No, mine says trusted, yours says appreciative, but we have the same notes. Interesting. Weird. Huh. Uh, who's next on your list? Um, Abel. Abel, Abel okay. captured. <laughs> yeah, Abel was outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily. Abel was impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting you. <laughs> Yeah. You left Violet feeling vengeful. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. Violet was exhilarated when you confessed her feel your feelings for her. Okay. Violet really is unsettled. I think Violet was Oh, I already read Violet, I think. Okay, so Lily is unsettled for you, too? Yeah. Okay. Um, what does your violet thing say? Vengeful. What are your little uh, notes? Oh, uh, um, Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school, and Violet was exhilarated when you confessed her your feelings for her. Okay. Um... Let's see, what else? I think I had another one. Oh, okay, Lewis. Uh, you left Lewis feeling guilt-ridden. Lewis was comforted when you said you were sorry you and AJ hurt him. Lewis was revitalized when you said you consider him a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't answer him when he came to the room, so he was upset about that. Oh, I see. Lewis felt remorseful when you couldn't think of anything to say to him in your room. Lewis felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him. And Lewis felt discarded when you let the Raiders take him. I didn't let him. <laughs> I just chose Violet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that, like, Violet and Lewis are like, why didn't Clem save me? Because for all they know, Clem didn't have a shot at saving either of them, you know? Yeah, it's not like, like she had a gun. She just had a bow. They're, like, struggling with these raiders. How do they notice, like, oh, Clem shot the guy who's hauling off Violet and not the one who's... Yeah. <laughs> like, it... Whatever. I'll, I'll allow it. It's fucking telltale. Um, okay, Mitch, dead. 
Mitch was exasperated when you told him to watch his mouth at the funeral. Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Where is my Mitch? I don't see that. Mine's toward the end. It's like the very end. I don't... Did I miss it? Oh, we just... Oh. Oh, right, because he's dead. You might have different orders. When you told him to watch his mouth at the funeral... Oh, oh, we yeah, said the same the thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mitch the bitch. And now he's a dead bitch. <laughs> Alright, state of the school. Omar was kidnapped. Rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard. Willie was annoyed you didn't choose his trap to defend against the raiders. I kind of wanted oh. to just because I thought it would be funny. But I did choose Willie's. You did. Okay, I, yes. I'll have to. I'll have to see that later. <laughs> when I saw the log trap work, I was like, "Dang! I wonder what happened with the bricks." <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Asim was kidnapped. Uh, oh, what did you get as the collectibles? There's a. I, oh, there was only three. Okay. I got the mushroom and the fly trap. Yeah, there was a boar skull outside the greenhouse. Uh, yeah, I did not see that. What does your uh, Willie thing say? Willie was thrilled when you chose his log trap to defend against the raiders. It absolutely okay. obliterated one of the guys. <laughs> nice. I was like, wow. And then the lady got mad and then we pushed the couch yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. I think it's the same because the bricks only took out the one guy, like the bearded guy with the hat. And it like yeah. crushed him real good. Like it was, uh, it was brutal. So they were arguing for no reason. They're both of their traps only got one person. <laughs> yeah. Wait, poor Abel. What do you mean, poor Abel? <laughs> Wait, who said that? Someone in chat. Yeah, poor Abel. He was a weirdo <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> Uh, absolutely not let me read what this person is saying what are you saying oh dude don't spoil anything yeah I, I've only like kind of skimmed what they've said because it looks like some of it might have spoilers in it so yeah yeah I didn't, I didn't care about Marlon he deserved it aka <laughs> what's Kiefer Sutherland's name in uh the lost boys don't remember i know like oh. the main character is michael and his brother is sam and then there's like edgar oh. and alan frog but I... it's been sexual lot see now i gotta watch the movie <laughs> yeah the girl's name is star but i can't remember like is it david i'm looking up because <laughs> now i gotta know okay let me know if it's david got out of my head with killing me while I'm doing this. I had to be kind of quiet, but I wanted to get through it. It's David, yeah. Okay. Damn, I'm kind of impressed with my memory. I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, hi, Drifter. Um, yeah, my sleep schedule is fucked right now, dude. It is very bad. We're about to hop off, though. We're gonna do the next two episodes next time. Whenever oh, that is. Apparently an Easter egg? With Kenny, if you choose Violet? Is that... They oh? sadly removed it. Why? What? No! Why would they do that? I know, like... It's, what? it's already bad enough that AJ can't wear his hat. Like, I saw... Like, we still have the hat. It's in... Clem's pack... What movie? Oh, we were talking about The Lost Boys. The, like, 80s vampire movie. There's... Oh, wait. Did you did you try and shoot uh, Lily? I did. I did. Did you? I didn't know I was going to die immediately. Yeah. I mean... I was upset about that. I was, like, confused at first. I was like, oh, they're going to let me, like, kill her? <laughs> and then... At least let us wound her. And then after really? seeing it backfire, it was like, okay, you got me. You got me, Telltale. Okay, you win this round. 
Like, why even give us the option? Come, it's exactly what happened with Lee and that that cannibal lady. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> put the gun down, bitch. <laughs> uh, I am surprised about the 50-50. Oh, uh, which 50-50? Which the one where you either tell Lily to shoot, not Lily, Lewis and Violet to shoot or run. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool that we picked different choices there I like most of our choices are the same <laughs> yeah like, but it's like um I don't and I know a lot of people probably feel bad because AJ is just a kid and he did murder someone I mean that's that's still murder but it was justified he had a, a yeah. loaded gun well he and he I think AJ still saw Oh God, Marlon as a threat. <laughs> the name yeah, went away. he did, and he was a threat, especially after he killed Brody. Yeah, and then tried to pin it on Clem, knowing full well they can just kill her if they wanted to, and nobody would know. But yeah. I was mad at the other kids. It's like we just told you that your leader, air quotes, <laughs> lied to you about the twins, gave them away save his own skin and you're mad because we shot him yeah after he threatened you right okay real smart oh did you spit on his grave oh i don't think it gave me the option to spit oh. she just looked at it and shook her head and walked away yeah see once you do that it gives you the option to spit on his grave oh i didn't i didn't see that I think yeah, because I looked at... Well, I pet Rosie first, obviously. Number one priority. See, then, I was afraid to pet Rosie. Because she seemed upset at the funeral. I was like, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did... I whistled at her and she sat down. That was really cute. But I didn't pet her. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, I, I pet her. She, she was a good girl. So okay, I did that good. first. And then I looked at the grave... She just kind of looked at it. Then I looked at Brody's grave and she said a few words. And then it, like, I don't know if looking at both graves prompted it or just looking at Marlon's grave prompted it. But maybe it's the order in which you look at it. I think I looked at Marlon's first. I looked at Marlon's first as well. And then uh. I looked at, well, I mean, after petting the dog, obviously. Hmm. That's weird. Because when I looked at it, um, it, it had like the red circle around it so I just assumed I couldn't do anything else mm. so maybe yeah. that's why it, yeah it gives you the option to spit on his grave mine was a red circle too so maybe it was uh, like okay yeah I didn't go back I did not do it because even though he was kind of a piece of shit he still means something to a lot of the people who live there and he's fucking dead like yeah it's, so but, then, yeah, I'm not gonna be like disrespectful toward someone that these people cared that much about, even if he was like awful. Yeah, you should watch it, Drifter. It's actually a really good movie. It is. Yeah, I want to watch it again. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and you, you would like it, Drifter. It is so eighties. Oh yeah, I didn't hit continue. Maybe there's like a is there an after credits thing? Um, uh, not that I see. It just brought me back to the episodes. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, how did you answer the, like, marry, fuck, kill question? Oh my god, first of all... <laughs> stupid Lewis, god. Um, yeah, I know. So I think I said I would marry Ruby. Yeah, I said that too. Uh, flip <laughs> James, and then... Yeah. 
the kill was I don't even know that dude so I don't care about him yeah well I okay I said Mary Ruby and I said kill James because I didn't want to like say that I would kill someone who was there at that exact moment in time you know I he actually took it pretty well. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, did you... What did you That's good, choose Because he got pretty weird. What did I choose as what? As the dare. For the dare. A oh, ask um, Ruby for a kiss. Oh, did he do it? He did, and then she, like, punched him. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I chose him to go kiss the zombie head, and he wouldn't actually did it. Oh yeah, and then Lewis told him he had no charm, and he's like, "Ugh, gross." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty gross. The fact that he—I mean, we're already infected, but he wouldn't kiss a zombie head. Ew. Ugh. Yeah, pretty disgusting. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I'm I'm glad it worked out. I wish it didn't take so long to get rolling, but you know. Have you played the Michonne one yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is literally the only one that I haven't played yet. Oh, uh, okay. So. Well, I'm looking forward to the last two. This was this was uh Yeah. My brain is <laughs> my head is hurting so bad. I don't know why. <laughs> I was stressed playing this. Uh, yeah. And I've been live for seven hours, apparently. I mean, I I felt bad that AJ kept saying he was a murderer through the first half. I was like, oh my god, stop. <laughs> I just wanted, I just don't want you to kill defenseless people. Stop calling yourself a murderer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what did you choose for his shirt? Oh, the science dog. Oh, okay. I chose the one the the one that was his toys, the broccoli. Oh, yeah, the broccoli. Nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, that would have been my my other choice. Uh, what else? I think that was kind of it when I came to differences. I can't remember yeah. everything either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was kind of thinking it would go this way. Like, when they raided, they would capture a few people and we'd have to get them back. Yeah, I was thinking that they were, that Lily was going to bring the twins and they were probably going to surrender because of it. And then they were going to turn on Clem. Like, you told us and they're really alive. And that's what I assumed. But we, yeah. we don't know if they're alive. Lily could be still lying. They probably killed them. Yeah, we don't know. I was like, 10, no, stop it. Jesus, I, I thought I thought she was going to kill 10. When do he... not trust her. Well, she wanted uh, to nab him. Yeah, but I was afraid she would go off. Like, she did Mitch, basically. Yeah. I guess he always dies then. Yeah. Which is kind of unsurprising, because it's a telltale game and they like to make you think that your choices matter a lot more than they actually matter <laughs> that's sadistic <laughs> yeah i mean i get it like programming games there's a lot of restrictions limitations that they have to abide by yeah and it probably took them forever putting these stories together and all the choices yeah. So I appreciate it for what it is, you know. Yeah, it's just a fun narrative that you have some slight agency over. Well, all right, Chet. Um, we have to plan the last two episodes, but yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, I'm not in a rush. I've been playing this every day. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, we're. Probably playing Starbound tomorrow. Probably. Yeah. Um, and yeah, probably getting ready to wrap that up too. Like maybe like a couple more Starbound sessions. 
Yeah, and try to do something else we haven't done in the last playthrough. Yeah. And then... Yeah, maybe Sunday... I could do this again. Possibly. I mean, I have to... Wait and see. Because we might do a raid. But if we don't do a raid, then we can do this again on Sunday if you're available. Yeah, just shoot me a message. But yeah, I'm I'm glad that uh, this was a good idea. Yeah, even though it was last minute, it turned out yeah. better than expected. <laughs> because I was just gonna like once you were done with New Frontier, I was like, all right, now my memory is refreshed and I can like play the last one now that'll be fun but then you mentioned like wanting to watch it and I was like wait a minute like what if what if we both did this worked out see great minds think alike yeah all right well thanks everyone who uh stopped by on one side or the other yeah so we're gonna do the same thing with the last two we're just gonna play and then compare like her title says yeah. compare notes at the end yeah oh also um the thing that got me to stop dropping frames was turning down the render settings oh i think mine was low by default yeah mine was high so i think that's why mine was a little little fucked at first so yeah yeah mine is low by default okay i mean it actually cool. runs pretty well on my computer surprisingly so i'm happy yeah. about that well it was running perfectly it just wasn't streaming well with the high setting on the render i think i broke it so <laughs> <laughs> oh well <laughs> thankfully thankfully it got better once i adjusted that all right well, GG. That was that was fun. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> yeah, GG. Yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, or in a few hours. <laughs> yeah, it's enough time to sleep. Maybe. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you. For stopping by. Thanks, Drifter. Have a good night. I'll see everyone later. Okay, bye.